Okay guys, this is an occasional series, which I'm going to do, UK Tobacco News, where I'm going to tell you about the latest news from the UK. A big thank you goes to Jimmy34567, and check out his amazing blog down there, Jim Sig Reviews, for pointing out these news stories. In the UK, we can get cigarettes from... Tobacconists, news agents, supermarkets, that's any supermarket, so up to including the size of your Walmart, Walmarts in the America for instance, corner shops, as I said, garages, everywhere. Prices are not necessarily marked on a pack and it's down to the retailer how much they charge them. One part of the UK is Scotland. They're anti-smoking. They're the first part of the UK that introduced the smoking ban, and now they want to take it a step further. They passed a law which slapped an extra charge on any business that wants to sell tobacco products if their business rates are over £300,000 a year. All businesses pay rates to the council based on how big their premises is. And what this means is if a large supermarket, such a size as your Walmart in America, wants to sell cigarettes, they have to pay extra to the council and the government to have the right to sell cigarettes. It might help the small shopkeepers because until 2015 you can see the tobacco products in the small shops but in the larger stores and supermarkets they have to keep them covered up. You have to ask for the product by name. But what's wrong with this story is that 300,000 threshold I see going down to 200,000, 100,000 and give it five years. If you're a business and you want to sell cigarettes, you will have to pay extra, like for the license to sell cigarettes. And that will mean cigarette prices going up and less places to buy your cigarettes from. One of the first consequences is Sainsbury's, which is the second biggest supermarket in the UK, has stopped selling cigarettes in six of their stores. Ministers from Scotland claim the health foot levy well, it could range £110 million in the first four years. So, it's, the government charges the big shops extra for the right to sell cigarettes. The big shops have to make their money, get their money back somehow. Cigarette prices go up and it's not even a budget increase. Last night, the anti-smoking campaign group Ash Scotland welcomed the decision. This is a great move, they described it. If customers are trying to quit smoking, support. And it also means products are out of sight of children. And I hope other supermarkets will follow suit. Sainsbury said, the impact of the levy introduced by the Scottish Government has led us to undertake review of sale in tobacco in our Scottish stores. So guys, I put the link down there to the story and this is going to dissolve into my next clip. The haters don't know when to stop. Keep watching. Okay guys, I'm keeping the clip short for quicker upload times.
cigarette brand news. Now, it's very hard to know about cig new cigarette products in the UK because if you go in the big store, as I said earlier, they're behind cupboards. It's only in a news agent. However, if you go on the website I've listed down there, Talking Retail, it's for corner shops and it doesn't just do tobacco products, it does new products and encouraging their retailers to shop owners to stock them. And they do list new tobacco products. And I've got two coming up. Japan Tobacco International is launching an innovation for the UK's number one cigarette brand, Sterling. Available from the 26th of November, Sterling Fresh Taste on Demand combines the popularity of Sterling, I don't know this cigarette by the way, with the demand for capsule cigarettes, providing retailers with a new revenue stream within the UK's fastest growing tobacco sector. More people are getting in click, into click and rolls, basically, or cap, like camel crushes. They'll be launched in tens and packs of tens and twenties, and it's the first capsule cigarette that comes in tens. Globally, capsule technology accounts for over 380 million packs of cigarettes sold, and in only eight months, capsule cigarettes segment in the UK has generated over £15 million in sales. Thanks to the success of brands such as Silk Car Choice and b &H Jewel. Sterling Fresh Taste on Demand will cost £6.38 for the 20s or £3.28 for the 10s. So that's a brand new product to look out for. That's sterling fresh taste on demand. Next up, they are also launching Japan Tobacco International limited editions of Silk Cut. The cutting edge packs will be rolled out nationally in the Silk Cut Purple, Blue, and Silver 20s and available for only four weeks. They look slightly different and it's a limited edition pack. If you smoke silk cut, click, click the pack. We might get plain packaging next year. It could be worth something years to come. My last but one news story is also from Talking Retail, this is how diverse this website is. I thoroughly recommend it. It's a story from the 8th of June this year. And Imperial Tobacco has sponsored something at Birmingham Airport. At the moment in the UK, you can't smoke in public places indoors. So what it means is at the airport, once you go through passport control, you can't have a cigarette. Because a lot of ex airports, such as Scatwick, Heathrow, Stansted, they're the London ones, don't allow have a smoking area. Or even allow you to go outside. But but Imperial Tobacco at Birmingham Airport have built a smoking area and 9 million people a year fly from it and they have got an airside smoking balcony. So thank you Imperial Tobacco for sponsoring the smoking balcony. One place you can smoke indoors in the UK legally is hotel rooms. However, 95% of hotels are now known as smoking. I recommended this site, I think about six or eight months ago, smokersunited.com. They do smoker-friendly hotels, which allow smoking rooms. You to smoke in the rooms. 
He can also book through them. One word of advice is, when you find the place you want to stay in the UK, and they do global as well, they've got the hotel's phone number, give them a call first to check they still allow smoking as the information might be out of date. I'll put that website down there, a great place to check out smoker friendly hotels. Anyway guys, thanks for watching UK Tobacco News. I had one bad story, three good ones. Not bad. Stay lit, thanks for subscribing, personal messaging me, etc. Thanks for watching.